Dude, I've started the stream way too soon. Jeez. Okay. Well, uh... Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Today is the 1st of November 2021. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful, uh... No, not November. I guess that's the holiday tradition. Um, yeah, I, I hope all of your October's celebrations were very cool. If you did anything Halloween related, really cool. Uh, I feel like I didn't really do anything spooky with Halloween. I played Alien Isolation for four hours and then kind of played around with the alien AI in that game. That was good fun. Uh, but for now, I'm going to do the jump into the game. Whoosh! So... Uh, yeah, but no, I've had a pretty good week. It's been rather chill, but, uh, I think, you know, getting, getting back into things. Uh, I'm, by the way, you're gonna kill me on this one. So, we'll get into that. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's been pretty chill. Uh, I honestly have felt like I've not done much this week. But, you know, that's kind of alright. Sometimes it's alright to have, uh, a week of time, or at least some time, where you don't quite get you know, as much as you feel like you need to get done. Uh, I have... There we go, I've got my analog stick on. Oh my gosh. How do I play this game again? <laughs> Alright, so, uh, one thing I looked up, by the way, from the last stream, is not only where that one lingering evil energy is, but also the fact that I can just quit the level the moment uh, I pick up the energy. So I actually don't need to even do the rest of the level. Uh, I'm jumping straight... Oh. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> not quite straight. Isn't that great? I saved my health along with, you know, <laughs> whatever. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm still kicking myself on this one, but, eh. All right, so, yeah, in the last stream, uh, we've played, I played the, the middle third of the game. Oh my gosh. We're getting them. We're getting them. I don't care. We're getting that coin. Ugh. So yeah, am I about to game over? Maybe. Uh, I missed one evil energy in this level. Do you want to know where it was? Here. You jump into the wall. The evil energy is there. How are you supposed to know? Nothing tells you that. Uh, but the worst part was me watching myself back and going, How many times did I look over here? I saw it kind of sparkling. I'm not too sure if that's because the evil energy was glowing through the wall or just the particles was weird. But yeah, you just jump in and there's one singular energy. It's not even that they put anything like useful in here beyond the one energy. It's just one energy. So anyway, I can exit to the hub. Level's all done. I don't have to worry. Uh, again, no ding, 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 level 100%. Not in this game. <laughs> but oh well. Well, yep, yeah, nope, that level's 100%. So now, I can continue on. Uh, I seem to have enough evil energy to access the next levels, the two levels. But note how, yeah, again, I need 84 in order to access the boss. There are, I think there's seven uh, tokens in each of these levels, which will put me at 87. So, three. I will be three over that target. It's a crazy low number of these tokens. They really expect you to at least, you know, one play every level, you gotta do that, but also just like, you've gotta do all these challenges. So... Hmm. Uh, now here's a th fun thing. Uh... My desktop computer, I've probably got, uh... This reminds me of a certain... Oh, Dead. This reminds me of a certain... Swamp level. You be the judge of what the swamp level was. I don't think the levels particularly get much longer in this game, so they're gonna kind of do their best to chuck you as many of the the evil energies as you can. I believe you gotta chop these. There you go. But yeah, oh, it's been a pretty chill week for me. I am trying to recall uh, a list of the games I've played uh, throughout the week. Probably the big one, I'm just gonna jump right into this one right now. Probably the biggest game that I did play was Grand Theft Auto. The original. Uh, it's been a running in my Steam library game for a long time, and that's back when they sold it on Steam. Unfortunately, Rockstar do not distribute the game anymore, but that's okay. Uh, 
to all the people who go, you cannot run the game on Windows 10. Use DG Voodoo. I'm glad that those are just piranhas and you can't kill them. Game selectively deciding what you can kill and what you can't. At least Sp Spyro makes it pretty clear that it's like, okay, it's like a metal and a... Uh, do they do metal enemies in the water? No, they do big enemies in the water. So it's like, oh, like you can't flame it. Like that kind of stuff. Like sharks. The big metal sharks, actually. That's what they did in Spyro 2. Yeah. Um... But yeah, no. So anyone who, who claims a game doesn't work on Windows 10, use DG Voodoo, then come back to me with the results. If it still doesn't work, okay, sure, we can start addressing things. But if you try to use DG Voodoo, that is the most, the second most magical piece of software behind DOSBox in getting old PC games to run. And DOSBox is purely because they're written for a completely different operating system, and it works as like a real, real solid like. Uh, I think it's an interpreter layer. Like, it's not actually... It's not running native. It is doing, like... You know, a bit of, a bit of work under the hood, but... Oh, do you see that? Oh my gosh. That's some spooky stuff right there. Uh... So, yeah. Um, just for note, by the way. Yeah, I, it's November 1st. And I stream this game in the, uh... At night. In Australia time. So it's November 1st everywhere. So, uh, yeah, it's not Halloween anymore. We got the blue border. We got... It's not Halloween. Uh, don't be the kind of guy who starts playing Mariah Carey the moment it's November 1st, by the way. Don't, don't be that kind of person. Cool hint. Cool hint. Oh, well. I'm swimming... We've been needing a bit of a more swimming level, haven't we? Hope you enjoy swimming levels, I guess. So, uh, but yeah, no. So, sick DG Voodoo on it. It runs fine. Easy. I guess DG Voodoo, like, is more of a, like, preemptive kind of thing. Like, you, you use it, kind of anticipating that a game is not going to run properly. And then it just magically makes it run properly. Uh, but I think, yeah, the, the key thing with DG Voodoo is that it's just, like, providing a bit of a... A bit of a wrapper on, um, like, drawing contacts. Which is exactly how a lot of these old games stop working. It's just that they're, they're doing, like, really legacy things and grabbing your screen. They're obviously superseded by stuff. But what they're actually trying to call at a fundamental level still should work. Ugh. Where is this going as well? Oh, oh, okay, this was just the room I was just in. There's a gate. Sure. <laughs> okay, well, I take it back when I said the levels are not getting much bigger, because, uh... When I start going all over the place like this, I'm like, oh no. Where are we going? The music is trying to real get me, like, all stoked up. I love PS1 music when it's just, like, it's not at all, uh... Doesn't quite line up with the, the game, and oh, I'll rip Spyro on this one as well, like, some of the music is, uh... Very... Uh... Very Stuart Copeland. Like, it's just, like, his kind of style, and you can just tell it's just that. Uh... Stuff, and I'm going the other way, because this obviously looks like the way to go. You've even got the bonus box. That's how you know you're going the, the right way. And I want to go the wrong way, dang it. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, no, so Grand Theft Auto 1 is an experience. It's not necessarily a game, uh, like, this is actually one of the first games in a long time I've legitimately not felt bad using cheat codes on. And I know what you're saying, it's like, oh no, how dare you, you've ruined the sanctity of the game. Let me explain how the game works, particularly to an audience of people who probably have not played the original Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so, the format of take missions and in the missions you drive and steal cars and inevitably you're doing all the missions you're kind of along the lines but not quite how the game works is that it's broken down into six individual levels each level takes place in a city uh every pairing of levels is in the same city so you're not having to relearn uh the even number levels but you're having to relearn uh maps on the the odd number ones um and in each one, there are different missions, uh, as well as power-ups are placed in different spots on the levels. 
Uh, and uh, it's your goal in each level to... Um, good touch, by the way. That was a wonderfully low-res skull. Uh, it is your job to basically get a point target. And so, how do you get points? Well, you do get points by finishing the missions. You also get points by, uh, in some of the earlier levels, ramming into people, uh, definitely running them over, uh, or shooting them, or something like that. Um, you get more points by killing police. You get, like, you know, like, <laughs> like kind of stuff that, like, when people go, oh, like, GDA is a murder sin. It's like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the very original one probably is by the most literal definitions and if anything it's a bit uh <laughs> it's a bit crude in the way it does things which i kind of like it's got a charm of just like it's not pretending to like try and hide anything um maybe in a uh, uh a world before uh certain uh 2001 tragedies uh that was kind of the vibe they just wanted to go with um but uh yeah they uh it goes pretty full in with that, but here's where it starts getting a bit annoying, okay? So one, if you die, you lose a life. You have five lives, and if you lose all your lives, you have to start the entire level over again. The levels can go for maybe two hours. If you're unlucky, maybe you can get it a bit quicker, but you only get like a couple... I'm not allowed... Oh, no, 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 you're gonna get me DMC'd. I don't know. Okay, sure. Superman 64 level, here we go. So, yeah, so you... You've got your limited number of lives. Uh, and yeah. The levels can go pretty long. Because it takes a while to get to... Um... To get to your point target, it starts off being 1 million, and then a handful of levels it's 2 million, and then it's 3 million. So you're like, okay. The the amount of points you get by doing things doesn't really scale. I think what they intend is you get a multiplier. So every time you win a mission, your multiplier goes up by 1. Uh, so that's really nice to start off, because it's like, oh, you're getting times 2. Uh, eventually, your multiplier can just keep going to like stuff like times 12 or times 15. You need your multiplier to go up to those really high levels in order to really, like, finish the game, finish the level. It's just, oh, it's a bit painful. Uh, but now here comes the catch. If you get busted, you don't lose a life, but your multiplier goes down uh, in some of the earlier levels by two, in some of the later levels by five. I, I, the, I And the missions are not repeatable. If you fail a mission, you don't get to retry it. You just, you failed it permanently unless you retry the entire level again. That's not too bad because a lot of the missions, you know, like some of them have like carryover missions where it's like, oh, like, you know, another mission follows it and they just kind of give it to you. Like, they're just like, ah, okay, like, sure. Freaking shirtless guy, I swear. Uh, some of the missions don't, but generally, like, they're pretty okay with that. Uh, most of the missions are gotten via payphones, so, uh, what the game does is it kind of just goes, go to a payphone to get a mission, usually you go to, like, where a bunch of payphones pay are sitting, so you get a bit of a, you know, a choice of, like, what missions you want to do at that moment, but you don't really know what you're signing up for, because they're just indiscriminate payphones. Uh, but in theory, yeah, the same payphone gives you the same mission, so, at least there's that. Um... But yeah, like if you if you botch up the mission, then you get no points. Uh, it's not the end of the world. You don't necessarily lose anything by missing a mission. Um, but still, it, it gets a bit annoying, and especially when you don't know what the level, what the mission is actually intending for you to do, or and this is the worst case when the mission breaks on you. So when something just sequence breaks or just doesn't work the right way, or rather reverse sequence breaks. So I ran into some issues on later levels, which were just like. You need to, like, follow a guy until he stops somewhere. And I followed him around the entire city, two laps, and I'm like, he ain't doing it. And I'm like, this is not worth my time. This has taken 15 minutes of him driving around the city, getting stuck because something is sitting in front of him and won't move. Me trying to unload the area in front of him and try it again, and it's it's a nightmare. It, it ain't fun doing that. Um, 
That's the same line, that, that's the same tip from down there. Like, do you have to tell me about lava twice? Come on, man. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, I actually ran into an interesting problem on level 3, and I found one person on the GDA forums, like, indicating that this was also a problem. Uh, I hit the score target rather well before I finished all the missions, or at least something along those lines. Once I was ready, and I definitely had done every mission, the game did not prompt me to finish the level. It didn't give me the drive into the spot to finish it. I looked up where the end of the level was. It didn't trigger, despite me driving into it. The, the gate opened, it did let me go precisely where it needed me to finish, but it didn't actually finish the level on me, so that's a shame. Uh, I assume Big is supposed to <laughs> break that wall. You just... I'm surprised how much like horizontal distance you get out of that. Jeez. Alright. And there he goes. He's going. He's going. <laughs> so... Yeah, what else is kind of annoying? The camera does get a bit sickening. Quite sickening. Really sickening. Jeez. I just want to see... I'm only at five tokens out of seven. Pretty sure I haven't missed him. I know that I, I know that's the bonus box which I'm going back for, but unless there's something in front of me, I was instinctively holding R1 to s swim forward. And that's not the key. That's not the button. Oof! They're just everywhere. I swear. I gotta swim through them again. Uh. <laughs> Oh well, so, yeah, uh, but yeah, no, so you lose your multiplier when you get arrested by the police, and that can actually mean your run is pretty null. Now, there's some, you know, multiplier uh, bonuses sitting out in the open. Um, quite a number of them are only available after you've done missions, so, like, you can't just get those and then do earlier missions and just rely on having high points. It's like, no, you kind of have to pick them up once you've failed and lost... A lot of your points anyway, so there's that. There's bonus lives as well, and so I feel like if you look up, uh, you know, like, uh, Maps Genie is a site, which has, like, a real good, like, um, interactive map. Uh, so I appreciate that. Um, still had to kind of know where you're going in the levels as well, because every street kind of looks the same. Like, you kind of have to identify where, where you are by judging how often you see, like, intersections. Perhaps what you are looking for is another What switch. is going on here, by the way? Like, just out of nowhere, we got the, the chef. Someone else from the Muppets uh, cinematic universe. Sure. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to sour it a bit uh, by just kind of saying a lot of that. Um, so what I recommend with the cheats is infinite lives and just at some point just uh you know unlock all levels and oh my gosh unlock all the levels and then just look up the cutscenes on youtube uh which i feel like is fair because you can exit the level and have the uh the like score um you know still save so like if you know the infinite lives doesn't, you know, help your score. It's just so you're not completely bailing out of the level. Um, although you could say that, like, oh, if you're being chased by police, that encourages you to just kill yourself rather than to get busted. But I'm like, yeah, no, getting busted is, like, absolutely killer. Um, maybe there's other things, but, eh. Uh, the music also got a little bit annoying repetitive and I'm not just saying that because there's actually like a radio station that consists of one singular song and then the the guy on the the radio goes that song was so good I think I'll play it again and he just plays it every like it's the same five minute loop over and over again so I understand this is like this is back in CD base days uh, that is an easy hundred percent cool uh, yeah I know this was back in like the CD era so you could only insert really like uh, you know, 80 minutes of songs on your CD. Sure, it's still kind of annoying how frequent, like, the music feels like it repeats. Um, 
So I guess it's that. Uh, yeah, hard to hard to really control. Uh, I kind of get used to it, but yeah, I still get into the point where it's like sometimes I'm banging my car too much and then it randomly dies because people are shooting it and it's really hard to gauge. Also, there's no health, by the way. You get shot once, you're dead. Uh, there are armor pickups, which you can get, uh, which give you three bullet shots. But if you're getting killed by fire or an explosion, you're dead. No, 100%. So, I guess it simplifies the game down. Uh, and uh, you've got a, a range of weapons yourself, and at the very least it kills things immediately. Uh, this is some music. Uh, let's uh, find some health before I completely cop it. Uh, yeah, I... I don't know, it didn't really click with me. And I feel... I feel kinda... Kinda air because I can't... Really, like, drive myself to constantly keep trying... To 100... Well, not 100%, but to, but to, like, legitimately beat the game without... Uh, without... I guess cheating, because I am putting in the cheat code. Um... So, I don't know, how do you guys feel about games that you do find too hard? Like, that is... Uh, mildly the point of cheat codes. I feel like cheat codes serve the purpose of it's the developers really wanting to just program a way to jump for later content. Um, for example, if you go on Steam and you look up Final Fantasy 7, the, yeah, they have not re-released Final Fantasy 7 in any way. Look at the screenshots. They've got 9,999 health in every single one of those screenshots. Uh, and that's Purely, I assume, they've just put in cheat codes or some kind of debug feature, and away they go, just so that they can take the screenshots. That's a classic, like, dev thing. That's the whole reason why, like, cheat codes have always existed. It's just to really, like, help the developers, you know, test things and, and try around stuff. Um, maybe some of them are actually for silly fun stuff, like, uh, you know, like a paintball mode in GoldenEye. I, I, I don't really see of any reason why you'd have that, apart from... Maybe they just wanted rainbow, like, decals to test something? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, ultimately, like, the cheat code serves the developer, and then it's just you in your enjoyment whether you actually, like, really need the, the cheat code or not. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't feel too bad, but I also, I'm not claiming I've finished the game, mainly because I have not legitimately played levels 4, 5, and 6. I kind of got really burnt out on level 3 after, especially after having, like, the the glitch kick me. You only need 2 million points to beat the level. I got to 3.2, and then the level just did not decide to let me finish, so. Uh. But yeah, uh, the worst part as well is that I actually really want to play the expansion as well, but I also worry it's mostly the same thing. Um, and, and the expansion's expansion as well. It's another four levels total of more Grand Theft Auto. Um, but yeah, oh, and, and double points. No saving anywhere in the level. So if I want to stop playing, yeah, no, that's the entire, like, level I've got to redo. So there's no, like, there's no checkpointing at all. It's, it's very brutal. And yeah, if you die, like, that mission is, is gone for the most part. Sometimes... Sometimes you're okay, but generally, uh, it's a bit rougher. Um, it's weird, because from what I hear, Grand Theft Auto 2, which did get a bit panned by critics at the time, but Grand Theft Auto 2 is exactly, like, what then really became Grand Theft Auto 3. Uh, it's got, uh, like, savable, repeatable missions, it's got, um... Oh, that's where the bonus thing is. This is going to be a bit of a weird level, but sure. Um, yeah, it's got repeatable missions, it's got actual, like, save checkpoints, like the, the hangouts. Little hideouts, yeah. Um, and then other than that, it's got, I think it's got the time of day system. I'm not too sure if it does. So, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things in there. I like the PlayStation buttons here. It's the same colors, they knew what they were doing. I took a hit just then, just for you. Is that referring to a cheat code, by the way? I can't even tell. I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah, this is a bit of a weird level. Nothing screams spooky like water levels. 
and insta kill piranhas who are just dead. I'm all the way back at the start because of course I am. The checkpoints are rather inconsistently far away in this game, aren't they? I get to rip every game, so. Uh, that being said, let me let me say some positives about the original Grand Theft Auto. One, it runs fine with DG Voodoo. I did not have problems with it. Just stick DG Voodoo on it. So, uh, and uh, I appreciate being able to. I, it's a bit weird. You're allowed to. The resolution is only set in game, uh, and that means you can't actually persist the uh, the screen resolution. But like volume is back on the main menu. I'm not too sure what's up with that. Bit of a weird one, but uh, other than that, I appreciate having save slots. Uh, kind of They're more like profile slots, but you know, it saves your level progress. So uh, I guess it's that. Um, the actual like mechanics of the game really nice it's interesting playing a grand theft auto and it's like hey there's an incentive for like hunting down cops because cops give you like 10 times more points as a civilian would so you're actually just encouraged to like hunt down police officers you also i'm pretty sure the uh the police never let off unless you do a pay and spray or uh you pick up a police bribe um power up and, uh, and, you know, that's actually pretty neat as well, because no more, like, random guessing how things work. It's surprisingly, like, deterministic of a game. It's just some things where it's just like, I'm not expecting a certain, you know, encounter. And it's just like, oh, throws me off. Um. Uh. What else? Yeah, the graphics are a bit weird. What, when did the game come out? 97? It feels a little, you know... Technologically a little bit behind, even for 97. Um, just because all the cities are like this very like simple 3D, and then the cars are just these flat 2D things. And it's not the worst looking until you get to like a slope. And then it's like, okay, I can clearly see the car like, you know, lifting off the ground. But yeah, that's, that's the look, so. Uh, also, I guess tank controls. I'll rip into that. It's got tank controls. And it's a little bit obnoxious figuring out how to shoot while walking. Uh, this is a fun room, isn't it? Uh, also, I think the PS1 version is even worse because it's got a uh, it it's got uh, break and slow down. Sorry, break and reverse as two separate buttons on the controller. I've got no idea why. It's not like that on PC. So PC seems like the superior version. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I swear, I swear. Because he's a big guy. You can't, you can't spin. Oh my gosh. I'm not enjoying this because the worst part is you know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to get the game over and I'm going to start exactly from here. Again, I'm going to hear this person speaking in Spanish on top of the game every time. <sighs> oh well. Oh well. You know, I... The game's got its place. I just don't know. I, I feel like, you know, when, when people say, like, Grand Theft Auto, like, as in the old ones, they're referring to Grand Theft Auto 3, and Vice City, and San Andreas. They're not referring to Grand Theft Auto 1. Uh, and I think that's probably a solid reason. I, it, it feels like, uh, not a prototype, because that's not the word to use. I don't, I don't like using the word prototype for, like, something that's, like, just, you know, the first version of something. Because it's, like, it, it's obviously something they sold and tried to make money off. Like, <laughs> like, prototype's not the word I'd use. I'd probably say it's, it's, uh, it feels like a, um, uh, like an idea. I think. Let's just go with that. It's like, it's a solid idea, and putting it into execution requires iteration. It requires, like, you know, trying out things, seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, I think... I don't know if anyone at the time criticized the level structure of the game. It feels so brutal, and especially for 1997. And especially with games that had quick saves at the time. This game does not have quick saves. It's got none of that. It's just... It's... It's bizarre as well, because, like, I'd imagine, oh, if it doesn't have quick saves, then obviously it's not storing a lot 
of data in the, you know, in memory, I guess we'll go with that. But surprisingly, a lot of the things you do in the levels persist, uh, like, for a really long time. Uh, so like, you blow up a car, that car has blown up for a long time, you'll drive back to that spot and that blown up car will still be there. Um, the fact that your missions are pro- you know, progress are still pretty tight- oh my gosh. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, there we go, first try. Um, the power-ups as well, like, there's only a finite number of them on the level. The fact that I have to look them up and then I'm still struggling, Speaks partially to me having no idea what I'm doing, but... This puzzle is no pushover again. Oh. Oh. We're doing the... the... push bulk Flip the block kind of puzzle. Okay, so we've got... Scarab thing that's gonna go here. So I'll give it a... It's a spin. It's a spinner. There we go. That's not... That's not the one, is it? What am I looking at here? Oh, it's the it's the wall. It's the back of the wall. Uh. Uh. Hold on. Wait. There we go. I'm not getting this in, in time. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll get it this time. Okay? Yeah, that was that was a bit of a you know, oof on me. All right, so uh, I'm flipping it. I'm no, I'm flipping it uh, this away. There we go. Evo. <laughs> There I go. I think that's the right way around. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, it's pretty alright. So, I, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to finish the game, but... I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Uh, but yeah, I find it's, it's a bit unique, because I don't particularly find old games to be, like, brutal, I can't, like, actually finish this without cheating kind of thing. Um, maybe, maybe it's a patience thing, uh, some, like, there'll be arcade games I'll play, or not arcade games, but like, you know, like, like, uh, NES style games where it's just like, you know, it's kind of brutal in that regard, but even then, the games feel, like, NES games feel shorter than this one, and this has, like, one singular level that's longer than the rest of the, like, you know, than NES games, like, what's a, what's an NES game that, like, I played and just, like, had to absolutely struggle through? I'm probably feeling Castlevania, but I know that one's got very, like, forgiving checkpoints. But still, Castlevania is one where it's like, you gotta know at least, like, a solid, like, 10 minutes of level without really being able to goof up. There's a degree of that. But it's like, I can, I can keep trying it over and over again, and eventually I'll get it. Where it's like, Grand Theft Auto, it's like, I, how do I exactly plan for, like, the next hour and a half? And then also, like, it, it's, it sucks that it's not just losing your lives, it's losing your score multiplier such that you're wasting your time. I ended up actually on two of the three levels I did, like, beat. I ended up just, like, running short, and I just have to, like, steal cars and put them in the, the export. And, you know, just constantly do that for money. Uh, and I, I feel like I'm not playing the game right, because I'm just doing that, I'm sitting with a one star, nothing's really happening, sure. By the way, that's where the first checkpoint in the level is. Right here. Unless I passed the checkpoint earlier, in which case, whoops, uh, it's the second checkpoint. Got him. Yeah. Yeah, I... I don't know, this game's definitely, like, brought out something to me. Uh, I've never felt so, like, passionate about, like, a game that's kind of peeped me off in some way. Uh... So, I don't know. Will I be able to play the game legitimately? Maybe, but... Yeah, it's a lot of patience. A lot of patience. Uh, I think I'll probably get- Ah, oh, I'll probably give the second game a try. Um, maybe I'll give, uh, 1969 London, and not to be confused with the follow-up free expansion 
1961 London, which continues to play songs from 1967 on the radio. In 1961, but technicality. Is this a wall? Oh, I thought it was like, it's a wall with a pig icon on it. I thought that was what they were going for. Nah, give the game too much credit. Why have we even got a, a, a like, Aztec? Is it Aztec? It's probably more Mayan than Aztec, isn't it? I don't know my, uh, my South American tribal cultures. I keep hearing one of those blocks being pushed in the corner. I did something over there, so... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if any of you guys have stories of trying to understand old games, let me know. And, uh, feel free to tell me how wrong I am anyways. Um... But, yeah, oh, it's an interesting one. So the, the other game that I played, only for a bit, I only played it uh, yesterday for Halloween, uh, was Alien Isolation. I played about four hours of it. Uh, I'm up to the bit where the alien gets to harass you yet again. Actually, no, for pretty much the first time the alien gets to harass you. Uh, but uh, it's going pretty all right. I'm actually, I'm enjoying the game a fair bit. Uh, it's, it's got a little bit of a... Uh, kind of uh, clay-like 2014 player or like human kind of look. Uh, there's something a little bit off about it. Uh, I think it's generally the faces keep like looking away from each other. It doesn't quite feel uh, like the eyes are working quite right. The rest of the, the play model faces like, yeah, look fine. So that's all right. Uh, and on top of that, I guess like the fact of darkly lit rooms and fancy uh, kind of UI based, uh, interactions, that stuff really does build a lot of world, uh, you know, worldliness to the game, so I appreciate that. Uh, and generally, yeah, the game looks pretty fine, it's, I guess it's relying on, yeah, low, low lighting conditions, and low lighting conditions hides a lot of fun stuff, like, um, like say for example, there's a part earlier on in the game where you're walking along like a beam and then the beam drops, and I was looking at that beam ahead of time, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, there's my game over. Easy. I told you it was coming. Uh, so I was looking at the at the beam. I was looking down and I was going, I can't see down there. It's too dark. So like whatever low poly stuff could have been down there, I couldn't see it. And I think that's actually the strength of a low lighting condition kind of game. Meanwhile, you've got this and I can very obviously see uh, a lot of the details, maybe there's some, you know, benefit of the mint mapping kicking in. So, uh, what's a great example? That far wall is still, like, rendering. <laughs> There'll be examples out there of just, like, mint mapping going on in this game. Um, sorry, not mint mapping. There's, I, I see a lot of mint mapping already in this game. Uh, L LOD swap, and that's what I'm looking for. Um. I wonder if you can, like, see the mip mapping on the far wall there. That's actually a good fade out. I'm not seeing anything too weird. Alright. Uh, yeah, no. Nah. Game looks alright. Uh, the sound is also pretty neat. Um, I'm listening out for a lot of, a lot of footsteps, a lot of noises. Uh, there's a lot of extra noises as well, just to throw you off. I find that's good fun. Oh, you need to switch. Uh. <laughs> Come on, PP. Can't believe it. Uh. As for the gameplay, I'm a little concerned with how it is so far. And I feel like that's just because I'm early-ish into the game. Uh, it might need to open itself up. Uh, rather sooner than later, but I guess I think for now um, I do feel very limited in the number of things I can do. I've got the motion tracker So I'm able to be at least aware of where enemies are uh, But I notice I'm playing on by the way the the fourth of the five difficulty levels Maybe that's completely on me, but like I've only ever found 12 revolver ammo. I Have taken six bullets to kill one singular Android 
So therefore I can kill two androids. That's it. I guess I can distract them with tools and stuff, but I'm not finding like a ton of the, the tools. I might have enough for a, a, like a half dozen kinds of grenades, and that might be all right when I need it, but and for the most part, I'm going pretty conservative, and I'm just going, well, if I get caught, then I'm loading a save, because that's pretty much how the game works. If, if you get dead, then, yeah, get a load of save, pretty much. Uh, but the saves are pretty frequent, and this is, I guess, my rip on GDA. It's like, okay, so if I botch up in GDA, I don't necessarily die, but I definitely start struggling for the rest of the, the level. Meanwhile, in this, if I die, or sorry, if I get caught, you know, there's a lot of the time I am dead. With the alien, 100% I'm dead. With the androids, yeah, I could probably run away. Uh... That was a weird pattern, I'll tell you that. Um... Maybe there's more stuff going on. Maybe there's actually humans that you gotta fight later on. Although, I don't actually think there probably will be. Considering how this game's going, it's probably gonna be... Androids and robots. Oh, sorry, androids and aliens for this point. Um, yeah. But other than that, I'm having a decent time with the game. I would give it a, a light 7. Feeling a 7 on this one. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's doing alright. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily spooking me. There's a bit of the jump scare aspect of this game, and definitely when the alien first got me, I was like, oh my gosh, he's, he's a menacing boy. He definitely walks towards you, but... Uh, I never felt like, you know, like, nothing really, like, really got out to me, apart from, like, the androids spuriously coming up to me. And I was like, ah, like, I want to get away from them, but, you know, what's the worst that happens? They grab me, I gotta mash the A button, I can handle myself. I guess that's one thing, I've never really been one to play a lot of horror games. I, I'm surprisingly dry on them. There's the classics, like your Resident Evil, your Silent Hill, uh, your Parasite Eve, is that, is that one of them? There's bound to be some other ones, even like some of the more indie horror stuff. I've never played Five Nights at Freddy's. Actually no, sorry, I think I did play the first one a bit. I can't remember, I really can't remember. Um, I think I remember people gamifying the first Five Nights at Freddy's, so like they figured out like how all the mechanics work and it was just, uh, you know, at some point just what's the tells, what's the strat, and you just go off that. Um... That's how we do it, right? You take the hit, who cares about the pattern? And yes, there was a checkpoint immediately before that and I died and the game dovered. Gamed over, so ah, my existence is pain. That's okay. We'll get there in the end. And in fact, the whole point of the stream is to finish this game. I know it's not Halloween, but hey, I mean this is level. Let's not count the boss levels. What would this be? Level fourteen out of eighteen. So there's a surprising amount of content in this game. I'll give you that. Like, watch the floor around here, again. If it starts to shake, get up quick, or it will crumble away underneath you again. Okay? It's a very croc pla platform, isn't it? These days, okay? Croc love these, like, you know, platforms that will just completely bail on you. And that game was just brutal from its tank controls. Ooh. Oh my gosh. They really need to, like, aim behind you on that one. I don't know about you. But gold is one of my favorite colors. Okay, sure. Oh, we're picking up weird statue things. Cool. Bonk. 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 Uh, but yeah, like, I mean, like, I, as much as, like, I've been maybe ripping on this game a fair bit, it's not too bad. It's, it's a very, like, I mean, it is... Pretty much a Spyro. I think that's the thing that probably does rip it the most. It's like, if you've never played Spyro, you probably should play Spyro before you play this game. Uh, and even then, like, yeah, sure. Um, it also doesn't feel like it really uses the Muppet, uh, like, you know, licensing a ton. It feels like it's a 
spooky based horror adventure game with your character turning into a bunch of abilities and then they've loosely like connected it to other Muppets except that's what the Muppets turned into like yeah I mean I guess that's the fish one but it's like why does Gonzo become the bat power like I've just become the bat like sure okay uh I think some of the level design is a little questionable but yeah in general it's like yeah it's a competent you know Spyro clone that looks and kind of sounds and feels very Spyro and I think that's actually you know a big commendation for a game that tries to do something with uh, not necessarily all that talent um you know behind it although it does have that one that one audio engineer it does have him so now with that I am finally in the last is this the end of the level I think it is how many of these tokens do I have? Five out of seven, okay. I did not look at how many evil energy. Uh, so there's the bonus one. Uh, is there one of that water? I didn't, I didn't look. Well. Don't tell me about, oh, you think you need another switch? Oh my gosh. You didn't say it. Cool. The bonus is really close, isn't it? It's just like, out there a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's mostly what I've been playing. Uh, I gotta broaden my horizons on, uh, other games. I, I think one thing, I'm playing way too much of Forza Motorsport 7. And I keep mentioning this game. And I always never know how to really talk about car games. Because car games are one, ones where, like, you know, the, I find them, like, really engrossing. But not necessarily like engaging to talk about. Like my mind starts going on autopilot when I'm playing a driving game sometimes. And it's great because then I can play it as an autopilot kind of game where I'm listening to a podcast or I'm like idly watching a TV show that's not like too demanding on the side uh, or music or something like that. Like I can do something while playing this game. Um, and I feel like that's okay because I can combine two, uh, you know, less involved. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah, there's the one. Oh, okay, this is the one. Are we back to this again? I know. I'm dead. Uh, Alright, well, the good news is that I know exactly where I'm going. And I think that checkpoint doesn't block off. Jeez, I hate the placement of them. And they also run after you as well. I hope he didn't close off the, the door. He closed off the door, so I've got to go that way anyways. Um... Alright, but the, uh, the evil energy was back at the start. I just don't remember how exactly to get to it. I was thinking you had to, like, warp back. or well, not warp back, but, like, there was something level which teleported you back there. That's what my brain's kind of telling me, because that seems like it's not at all a practical jump. Uh, there's no equivalent ledge on the other side. But, I'm now at this point where I actually have no idea what exactly got me there. All I'm thinking is, there was a teleport. Maybe there's a teleport where... Pepe was hiding out on the left here. I'll get past these puffer fish, don't worry. Killer piranhas. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, and the worst part is that uh, Forza Horizon 7 comes out next week and I will definitely be playing a lot of that probably way more than humanely possible um, I yeah I don't really know how to explain it I guess it's weird as well because I don't even like actively drive uh, but yeah here's a uh, racing games I just really enjoy them blame my mom for getting me Grand Turismo 2 as a kid oh there she ah, this is a good purchase I enjoyed it uh, 
Yeah, the, um... I guess that's the thing, is that, yeah, for me, horror is definitely one of those... Am I gonna get killed? Maybe. You can jump over them. Uh, horror is definitely one of those genres where it's just like, I've just not been into it, really. Um, I think I appreciate horror. And I can definitely play those games. I think it's more like, I worry that I will get spooked. Uh, sometimes, so I actually put it off. Or, alternatively, I worry that it's, um... You know, like, it's, uh, too punishing. I, I think that's one thing. I don't really like a game that's, like, so ultra-punishing that I don't feel like I'm getting anything out of it. That's why I stopped playing Dark Souls. I died on that one boss, like, 50 times. Not even the first boss, like, just some boss halfway through the game. And, uh, it was, like, one of those two-person bosses. I've, I've spoken about it a bunch. Uh, and that boss just wrecked me so many times. I had spent, like, maybe, like, six hours there. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Maybe six is exaggerating, but like, high number of time. How do you get to that, that one evil energy? Do I just open up the YouTube walkthrough again? Cause yeah, one guy has played it on YouTube. Maybe I do, because I legit know I'm probably going to be wasting my time. This is only the second level, and I'm already, you know, 51 minutes into the stream. I gotta, I gotta pick up my pace. And that's the end of the level, so... Hmm, I'm just going to look around like a moment longer, but I don't know. Like, I look at this room and I don't see anything at all. It feels very weird as as well. So is this the third time the game's done this? It's stuck just a very bizarre <sighs> I'm even on 23 out of 24 on the coins. Oh, that's the part that really hurts, the fact that I've gotta come back to this level and get that one last coin for my one bonus gallery achievement. I stop it walking this boy up. Um, up at Monster Mania, what's the level name? Adventure Temple of Pork. Ah, well. One out of three? Don't do this to me. We're doing the Let's Play. Hi there, give me a Let's Play. Hi, welcome to my Let's Play where I've got the game in 16 by 9. Nah. I don't rip on people for doing that, although he's. Obviously playing on an emulator. But, I mean, hey. So am I, I guess. Hi YouTube, you wanna load? Come on YouTube. Obviously it's my internet. So yeah, he's got that up there. Uh, I don't have my audio on, so I'm just gonna assume he, he's walking past it. Because he doesn't, you know, have a way of getting to it. Oh no, he cheats it. He cheats his way there. He actually does cheat his way there. Hold on, let me let me let me rewind and watch that again. That is He cheats his way for it. I swear there was a legit way of doing it, but no. I'm gonna do exactly what he just did. Thank you, Jason0905. You doing this thing uh, nearly eight years ago has uh, set the catalyst for me making a horrendous mistake. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, yeah. Alright, you ready? You ready for this wonderful piece of level design? Oh, spiky sticks. Okay, so what he does is he goes about halfway on this ledge. He does a glide, takes a hit here, does another glide. I botched it up, so I'm probably gonna be in the I'm dying camp, but uh, you can see the theory was there. Uh, I, I probably didn't use my bat at the right height. There you go. Is that how you're supposed to get that? Probably not. Probably not. But, did it work? Yes. And you know what they say, imitation is the greatest form of flattery, so... Mr. Jason0905, 
consider yourself praised. And also for the fact that you played this game before, uh, like, I don't know, it doesn't even have this many views on this video. Who knows, maybe he's played the game so much better than I did, because I never played this game as a kid. Um, and just to remind myself, that is indeed 100%. So, cool, level's done. Sweet. I didn't even let the music properly end itself. Oh well. So to the bluest bayou, or bayou? Who knows? I seem to be remembering more of these later levels than the earlier ones. I remember having uh, a bit of a time on this level. Because it reminded me of a, like one of those levels in Ape Escape. Maybe I should play Ape Escape on stream. Actually, I really did enjoy that game. Maybe I should. Write it down, Jimmy. Write it down. That's actually that's a good idea. Ooh. Well, and he's coming to kill me. Because of course they are. Why do all these people want to kill you? And they actually, like, really try to kill you. Like, you're Robin. Actually, no. With a name like that, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, poor people called Robin. Robin can be both a dude and a dudette's name. How cool is that? That's kind of neat. That's efficiency right there. You know, don't know the gender of your baby, just... Pick a, pick a very neutral name. Oh, he didn't even deal damage to me just then. Or he did. I uh, didn't pay attention. One of the two. I'm already at the S. I want to get the bus. The bussin. That's, that's it. Ah, uh, I want to repeat that. That's an interesting move. Someone write that down. Okay, sure. Yeah, this game does. Bit of bizarre things from time to time. Honestly, I don't really know how to how to even interpret some of this game. I think the thing that like really like weirds me out on this game is the fact that like I I'm playing like an uncanny like close version of Spyro, but not quite Spyro. And that's the bit that kind of like gets to me is that like this is a licensed game, but it's like it's kind of along the lines. Um, Whereas, like, I feel like I would prefer a game that, I don't know, I guess I'd prefer a game that, like, tries its own thing. Oh my gosh, it's coming at me. It's coming at me. Uh, I don't know really how to phrase it. Um, I guess, like, I, I was having a chat with, like, someone on, like, you know, like, are video games, like, a waste of time? And I'm like, yeah, but, I mean, there's some, like... Uh, and, and this is like the, the artsy answer of like, there's some enriching experiences you can have with games. And like, yeah, there's some. But yeah, honestly, like a lot of games are there just to have fun and have a good time. Um, and that's fine. But I guess it's also like, well, I mean, there's only so, so much time I've got on the earth. And there's probably more games than I'll ever be able to play. Have you fully explored underwater? I think I remember going up this way at first and then big tease because it was like, oh, cool. Cause there's no like shortcut up here as well. Like you've just gotta, you know, hope that you went the right way. Oh, actually, even bonus points. I, I remember I didn't activate that. But it's still gonna be up there. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'll just just accept their level design. That's how they wanted it to be. Oh boy, I hear him coming. Oh, I should really be spinning more often. Oh well. 
Ooh. Uh, yeah, I, like, I guess, uh, you know, there, there's some, some things where it's like, yeah, I've played a bad game, and, like, in some cases I've regretted it, in other cases, like, it's Superman 64, man, like, I, I feel like I've, I've been through a journey playing that game. That's like a, that's like the Haribo lollies of video games, it's like freaking, you know, like, I, I come out of it a different man to how I came in. Um, and that's, uh, that's the beautiful thing about some games, even if, even if they're bad. The idea of learning something from them, and, uh, learning, I, I guess in my eyes, just, you know, I, I do software for a living, and this is definitely one where I can always appreciate seeing, like, software, and just go and, like, oh, like, that's kind of cool how they did that, or, uh, you know, oh, I might want to dig into that, and, uh, it's, it's kind of neat just, like, playing, you know, these games and really kind of feeling a bit in both camps. I guess I've not really talked about the development of this game very much, and granted, I don't really know how on earth it was developed. And honestly, I, a lot of PS1 games are just, they're a sea-based game. They're, there's definitely, Sony's got uh, some things in their developer tool set, which is why quite a bunch of games feature things like full motion video, uh, because and not just feature full motion video, but like feature the same kind of implementation of full motion video. Because like some of that stuff's just in the developer toolkit. Like, you know, a lot of PS1 games fall into that boat. Um, I wonder if like some of the rendering, like the render, kind of just like 3D camera rendering stuff is also just like a straight PlayStation thing. And that actually might be one reason why the PlayStation, um, you know, why a lot of games that did push 3D end up running fine on the PlayStation, because it's like, hey, Sony did it right once, and everyone kind of used their template and made their own games out of it. Uh, there's bound to be exceptions to that. I feel like Ridge Racer is a classic. Like, Ridge Racer does not look like other PlayStation 1 games, really. Um, maybe the later Ridge Racers, but definitely not the first one. Uh, those spikes definitely receded into the, the ground. Uh... Yeah, I, like, I don't know, I feel like there's a certain degree of, you know, interest in just, like, how these games work as software, but also just, like, you know, there's designers, there's artists, there's, uh, music composers, there's a lot of, you know, more of the art side of things. Uh, music is definitely one where I also a bit, take a bit of a fancy into thinking about it, uh, but yeah, for art, it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I have no idea what is involved with making a sign with eyes. Uh, and bonus points, that is a properly two sprites for the eyes. You got the front of the eyes, which seems to be, like, mapped on front of a loose model, and then that is definitely a sprite on the back face. But the fact that that's totally, you know, like, not rendering the back face of the, the eye makes that kind of effect work a little nicer than it probably would otherwise. I keep touching the puffer fish. I keep touching the, the chomper fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Existence is pain. Uh, do I have to hit a switch again? I don't know which way is which anymore. Maybe I should hit the switch. No, is it? Nah, I gotta hit the switch again. Oh. I could do without these checkpoints. I could do without the, uh... That's a fun one as well, don't they? They've got to track which enemies have been killed in the, uh... Well, rather, in the checkpoint. And which switches have been activated. That's a bit of a fun one. So there's probably a bit of RAM pointing to that. Oof. There you go, first try. No problems. Uh, yeah, would I necessarily say that playing this game, like, I don't know if I'd play it casually anymore, but, uh, I remember, yeah, my mate wanted me to, to try and play as many licensed Disney PS1 games as possible, and I gave up at, uh, Donald Duck Going Quackers, but I did play every single, uh, game that started with Disney's, whether it be Treasure Planet, whether it be Lilo and Stitch, whether it be Atlantis, uh, 
I, I was going to say the Emperor's New Groove, but I guess I've already played that one, but... Yeah, maybe I'll play that one on the stream again. Um, who knows? Uh, but yeah, I guess there's like one thing where it's like, you know... I actually find these games kind of interesting because it's like... I, I think I've mentioned this before, where it's like, I feel a layer of nostalgia, even though I never did play this game as a kid. It's just kind of like it harkens back to an era of like when I was a kid. Um... But it also was not, like, I mean, I, I've also felt like I've lost nostalgia for some games. Like, I remember uh, being a brand new Wii owner and owning Rayman Raving Rabbits. Uh, astute people may notice that back in the day, I uploaded one singular video trying to play Rayman Raving Rabbits on the channel. I don't think I got very many views. Uh, but in it, I actually was like, well, in order to do the game justice, and this was back in, like, the... Me trying to copy the Chugger Conroy style of, uh, very, you know, going into depth on mechanics and things like that. It's Rayman Raven Rabbits. It's like, how much, how many mechanics can I go into? Probably not much, but... Because the game's so heavily into motion controls, what I did was I actually filmed myself playing it, and I would cut to a face cam of me actually playing it. So, those of you out there, you missed out on the face cam. Um... And I looked horrendous doing it, and I also was not having a fun time playing the game again. I ended up really not enjoying playing the game. It was bizarre. It's like, ugh. Like, maybe, and, and I think that's one reason why I, like, had stopped playing games on my YouTube channel for a bit. Because I did feel kind of burnt out playing, uh, playing these games and then editing them and then, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Uh, yeah, playing the game and then editing it and then, uh like, particularly playing a game that it's like, I mean, I thought it would be interesting, and it ended up not being interesting, and I have no idea how to really, like, judge playing stuff that I'm not having a good time of. Um, and that's one reason why I've liked the stream structure of things. It's like, it's a two-hour stream, uh, I can always fall back to something later in the stream if I really, really want to, but I also feel like, hey, between streams, there's no commitment necessarily to play anything. So that's why there's only two videos of Earthbound. It's like, hey, something came up and I didn't really want to continue playing the game. Uh, or else I'll encounter DMCA claims of the wazoo and I have to keep having copyright strikes on my channel. And I really don't like having to sort those out. But that's okay. Uh, I guess that copyright strike would have already expired if it hadn't already done so. Diamonds were a girl's best friend. <laughs> Okay, sure. Since they are not oysters. Okay, cool. Uh, is there a very specific one that's open? Is there a very specific one that's open? Is there a very sp specific one that's open? I should have read the text. The diamonds were a girl's best friend. Thank you, same line of dialogue. Cool. I thought it was indicating that you gotta like spin into it. Oh, you do. It's just a bit finicky. Sure. Okay. I'll accept it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's enough of your meta discussion about what's playing. But you know what I mean? Where it's like. There's some games out there, um, and it's like, you know, you might have played them as a kid, and now they're, they're very lukewarm. Average. The weird part as well is that, um, maybe not, it must have been afterwards, I did a replay of Rayman TV Party, the Rabbit's TV Party, and I had a decent time playing that one, and I'm like, it's, it's kind of the same game, I guess it's more just like, playing the balance board stuff is just silly as. But, the next Muppet Monster I enjoyed it. Um... So... Yeah, maybe I should play the second Rayman Raven Rabbids. I had a decent time on that one as well. I feel like, I feel like it was the... The... The format of just like having to do it on the YouTube channel really dragged it down for me, so... Uh, but yeah, nah. I'm enjoying streaming. I'm just gonna keep doing it. Uh... Pretty much I'll just be keeping up doing this, because, I mean, this is the fun part as well, is that, like, for a, a while, and as a, as a kid, you'd always chase the popularity. You'd 
I, I felt like there was a degree of like, oh, I don't want to just do the thing that's popular. I want to do something that like I've always liked and good on me for doing that one because that means I've never regrettably played a game that was just necessarily popular. Although I've definitely played newer games that and tried ideas and chased, you know, some trends of popularity, like setting up a co-op channel. And it's like, you know, that was good fun when I did it. But like, yeah, I didn't really commit to it very much. So there's that. Um, you like how the bonus is at the end of the level? Like it probably should be. I, yep, I got hit and hit him. Sure. Cool. He's, he's been running, so. But enough about me. How about you? How's everything going? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Do, do, uh... Oh, like, I hate, like, having to deal with the camera. Because it's like, it's... And this is technically, is this the passive camera? This is the passive camera. You'll see it on active mode. Whoops. You'll see it on active mode, and it's like... It's a lot more responsive. Maybe I should have it on active mode. Because I, I find myself, like, turning and then having to also turn the camera with me. I kind of like just, like, you know, being able to walk around and turn the camera. Look at that perfection right there, by the way. <laughs> Five out of seven. Uh, that's a bit terrifying because, yeah, there's this, but... There's a whole token sitting out there. So, that must indicate that there's, a. Uh... I was going to say Kramer. Pepe challenge somewhere out there. Um, or there's just something in a very weird hidden nook somewhere. Ah. Uh, seems a bit odd, but sure. Isn't this the menu music again? We've hit the menu music again. There's only so many songs in this game. Bit unfortunate, but sure. Uh, I, I have no like recollection of this room. I remember crossing it, I don't think I've particularly realized that there were six platforms in a row. Sure, I, I see Kramer over there as well. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Oh. Wait, I must have just walked around this. Okay, well, that makes it a bit easier. I don't know if you can exit a level without exactly, like, if I can exit it from here, or do I have to walk to the end? I'll go for more, I'll walk to the end. That's always a fun one, like, do games, like, save your progress when you quit a level, or do they just not care? When do games save progress? What do games say progress like it's if you game over? Like in this game, it's like, yeah, everything still persists. If I pick up a token, it seems to basically stay no matter what I'm doing. But other games, maybe not. And that's always a, a real like fun one, isn't it? Of just like, I guess, or also in the spirit of game development and game design, it's just like, what do you... What exactly do games keep doing that's fun? Do games do different things that are fun? Uh, I guess that's... Uh, like, I actually find I'm in a bit of a weird position because I feel like a lot of people out there actually... Oh, the one thing is that I can't move the camera in passive mode. That's the one thing. It's always looking at my back. I probably prefer that, to be honest. Actually, no, I, I, I don't know if I necessarily do. Ah, I'll keep it up. I was gonna say, there was some, like, precarious platforming, like... Not this stream, but definitely earlier. Where it's just like, I needed to move that camera in order to straighten where I'm going. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Active mode disables that. That's cool. So, with that, we must do in the bride slide? Okay, sure. I'm going in. 
What do you think this boss is going to be? Hopefully it's not dodging attacks and then hitting them three times. Here we go. Be careful, okay? Yep. Oh. Watch who you're calling a monster, frog boy. Frog boy? Steer Uh, for reference, this is, indeed, the first instance of, like, actually sliding in this game. I guess they, they really wanted to do the sliding thing, uh, because Rayman 2 did it, and Mario 64 does it, so why not? Um, this is the slowest freaking music to go along with a slide level, isn't it? So I assume I'm just gonna reach a point and then she gets hit. Uh, she lost the heart. She just gets upset, I guess. Ah, uh, that's all cutscene, by the way. Is it actually the same path? Oh my gosh, it's the same path. She's just gonna hit more things, I imagine. I guess you got penguin blocks on the way just to throw you off. Did you, did you like that one bit of the music that did the... What is that, like, uh, musical motif? You know, the, the, the like, the clown music, the circus music. But, like, there's gotta be a formal name of that, right? Like, there's a lot of, like, weird formal names in music. What's the... Oh, I forgot the name of, like, the, the drum fill. That's, like, it appears in, like, one, one song, one jazz song from, like, the early 60s and it's like it's so iconic i've forgotten the name of it i want to say like the sheffield like something these penguins just don't know what's like logical uh this is gonna be fun oh my god mm, sure <laughs> This is a very grilling boss fight. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel like earlier, I think I might have said, oh, like the bosses in this game were okay. I'm looking at this gone. <laughs> they tried. They tried. They made this boss the easiest boss. The fifth boss in the game. actually dead as well. Nah. There she goes. She's okay. And has legs. You are Moi's hero, little Robin. Okay. Bro, your gloves smoking. Well, that was a boss fight. Cool. So with that, that reaches the final stretch of the levels. The last three levels in the game. Uh, and then I'll just leave it there pretty much because as if I'm going to get all the coins. So, uh, you need a hundred and six of the tokens. That is correct. I am 19 away. Uh, I think there's seven in each of these levels. I will be too shy or too over of that, that value. And never mind as well, I don't have enough evil energy for these two levels. Like, I think, what is it, 550? Uh, which will put me, I'm just doing the math on the top of my head. Well, that put me about 300 over that. They really expect you to at least... If you're not 100%ing, you're getting like 90%. You're going all in. I guess you don't need any energy in the very last level. But still. Still. How will they encourage people to play the game? I'm getting like PTSD because I swear like I played this level in Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. But no, I guess it must have been Muppet game. He's big and he has a shield. What's the logic? I'm taking all the hits. This is, oh boy, oh boy. Do people get offended with, uh, I guess while we're on the circus music kind of, you know, motif. What about the, what is her name for that? 
He's gonna be running, he's gonna be bo- Oh no! Hi there, how you doing? Have you used your smash power on oh my gosh, are you just gonna like give it away? Yeah, like, I, I, I was gonna say, like, do, uh... Is, uh, is using, like, Chinese modes, and especially, like, this... That is 100% like a... Like a freaking Sony Acid Music kind of loop right there. Uh, there's a cliff. There's everything. This level has everything. It's got no flow. It's just, it's just this giant front. It's bound... I, I think it opens up, and it's got, like, an area behind, and so... That's my hope, is that I manage to pick up everything that I need to over over here. It's not even where the level continues, it's just there. This music can't decide what genre it's supposed to be, it just... And it's weird, considering we've had the title music appear on two levels. And then just like, oh yeah, okay, we've got the, the China level. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta indulge. That's always a fun one. Like, I mean, I guess we also did the, uh... Like the, the Arabia level, basically. So, who knows, we're gonna hit a lot of the, a lot of the strides. Uh, by the way, were there eight? Oh, there's only seven thingies in level. Yeah, okay. Um... That is a fun spot for some energy as well, isn't it? Because it's like, I've got to glide down from the upper ledge and land precariously on that one little bit. This is what I mean about like not being able to turn the camera. Although it's not a it's not as final edge. Yeah. So I think in the last stream I talked way too much about Intel processors, and all I can say is that now of the actual announcements and also stores listing prices, uh I guess here comes the question. Do you deserve to be an early adopter? Uh and this can tie into video game pricing pretty alright as well. Uh, things are very expensive when they first come out, and will probably drop in value as things that are newer come out. And in, in the realms of technology, usually it's things that are better. Or, it could be things that just do stuff in a very different way. And maybe it's not necessarily better, but it's definitely one that people are going to support a bit more. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I feel like the Intel CPUs will probably be alright. I don't necessarily know if they're going to be popular though. The prices don't seem like, like tons amazing. Um, mostly because they're kind of hitting the same like price points that the previous gens did, and I mean fair enough. But you know, oh, they were pretty high price already, and then it was just the only reason why people, I guess, came to accept it is because then you'd have AMD making the same prices. So, yeah, what do you do? Make your own CPU. Easy, so. Uh, that being said, they come out before the next stream, right? All I, all I know is that, so. Uh, if you're planning to get one, uh, tell me how good it is. Uh, because I actually would really like to know. Uh, so yeah, the level continues just straight to the center. The, all the stuff on the facade on the outside, it's all just like bonus picking up goodies. I think Enter the Dragonfly does have a level like this. Uh, so I just need to get uh, Pablo Ablo over here and then... Where's he going? There he is. By the way, yes, that one level did have the Swedish Chef and then not have him go Bork Bork. I'm gonna hope I'm not missing anything over there, but... A level is a level. Nothing more. If you hit the gong... I guess not. It's just there for decoration. Yeah, this is 
is really weird. I'm having like a like a fever dream level of like being able to remember this level. Like it's all kind of clicking in my head. There's like tunnels later on, aren't there? Or am I back to Spyro? <laughs> but yeah, the, the weird part is that, yeah, this game came out the same year as Spyro Year of the Dragon, and then the wonderful Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, which I might I might stream the other Spyros before I get to Enter the Dragonfly, but I won't I won't particularly leave that one out. Uh, that game is a, a glorious game. It, it's in it's in that realm of it's so bad you have to actually see it to believe it and to some extent you'd have to play it to believe it as well but it's amazing that like a game like that actually came out in fact like a lot of these bad games like the real notoriously bad ones are not just like oh it's like uh like what's a what's a game people knock for being bad it's like oh of course it ended up in that way um like, uh, I don't know, when people were, like, saying Mass Effect Andromeda. Although, I, I think I know a bunch of people like that one. So, I, I don't know, what's another one? Cyberpunk? Nah, not even Cyberpunk. Because Cyberpunk isn't really bad on the design front. Some people are gonna, like, really, like, make the, you know, make a case on that one. It's like, sure, okay. But I think a lot of people are fine playing it. Somehow. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh... No, I'm trying to think of, like, the last, like, legitimately, like, broken bad game. I guess if you play, like, indie stuff, you're bound to find, you know, a game that just is real broken. And just, it's, it's not, <laughs> it wasn't designed well. They didn't, you know, pick anything fun. Um, so, yeah, like, that's kind of like the train, the train wreck <laughs> kind of, like, you know, example of, like, a bad game. That is amazing. I, I find like, you know, it's fascinating how there's so many formulate games that do the same thing and it's fine. They'll get it right and, and people play them and it's like, sure, okay. And then you get the games that like, they don't follow the formula and not just that they're not following the formula, whatever they've tried doing is bad or they kind of follow the formula and they don't put in all the pieces and they miss bits uh, or they... Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to find some more examples off the top of my head, but you know what I mean? It's like you'll you'll play a game that's just misses the mark so hard and Like at some point it, you're like, oh, this is bad and then at some point it's fascinating and that's the amazing part about like You know Media is that like if it's software, I guess that's the one thing actually. I'm, I'm tripping over points Media is especially fun when it gets bad Unless it's music. I find music's a bit of a tough one to swallow. Like, if you're listening to bad music, you feel like you kind of just... You don't deserve to listen to the rest of it. A bad film can be hilariously bad. It can be, like, so low effort. Because film is, like... You know, it's... Like, music is very, like, abstract, I guess. Like, what is music? It's a bunch of, you know, tones and frequencies put together in a certain rhythm. To make something that sounds appealing like that sounds so weird film at least it's like i'm showing someone doing a thing like you can make film abstracts but generally films are like you know pretty pretty concrete you know what's going on just by looking at them music is one where it's like you kind of have to acquire like your enjoyment of music first uh video games uh less abstract but more practical so you're not gonna like you know, a video game if it doesn't run. In our in our Grand Theft Auto example from earlier, if you can't figure out DG Voodoo, you will not enjoy playing the game because you can't play the game. Ah, uh, and oh, I can't believe I fell into the poop. I fell into the water. I'm not gonna get that pot in time, am I? Especially not now. Look, I did it. I did it. Ooh, can't believe it. The active camera botched me up. Oh. Oh, this is a bummer, Robin. Do you want to go again, okay? <laughs> Spooky. <sighs> but yeah, when there's a game that it's like it's bad, but it's not like punishingly bad. It's just kind of like, you will experience it, and you'll just like, absolutely laugh as you go along because someone decided to develop a game in a certain way. Dude, I'm beating him to these chests, he's so slow. Oh, he's gone this way, okay. 
Now, now he's too fast. I hate it. Uh, uh, obviously, this game does not fall into the realms of it's a bad game. It feels, it feels like it pretty much ticks all the spiral boxes. I can't really knock it for, for what it's really structured itself as doing. I can knock it for some of its execution. It's a little stiff. Some of the level, de uh, level designs a bit here and there. Uh, the music's definitely, you know, a bit all over the place, but, you know, in general, like, you know, it's a game that tries. And I can actually, I can really feel it. And on top of that as well, I find this as well, like, some licensed games, they stop way too early. Like, they have an idea, and then it's just like, eh, okay, that's it. Uh, this game at least is like, you know what, like, it uses the Muppet license so loosely that it's actually kind of admirable how not much of a Muppets game it even is. But, eh, that's another story. I guess I remember there being more of a tunnel and less of a cliffside to jump on, so... You win the game. I did not remember it as well as you probably wanted me to. Is that on me for not remembering my 2000s platformers? Yes, 100%. Yeah. I don't know what's going on in this room. Like, that's obviously a floor that opens up, and that's the bonus thingy. I guess I'll come back in here later. Probably when I hit that switch, that's just up that ledge. <laughs> yeah. They really can't hide those tokens, can they? They're just all over the place. Oh well. Yeah. Uh... Anyways, it's November, it is past the month of Halloween, so, uh, I guess one, one thing to note is, uh, is there a letter I'm missing? I think I am missing the, the O? Oh, it must be back there. Okay. That does look like I'm missing tokens, though. Sorry, tokens. Uh... Evil energy, because yeah, that's the end of the level, and they're not pulling the uh, secret over the cliff of the end of the level gag on me. Uh, is that all the the Muppet tokens as well? I'm also missing one of the tokens. So there's a bit more to witness, a little bit more. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's uh I I always find it's interesting how like quick people are to take up Christmas celebrations though. Cause that's uh that's like Christmas is like it's twelve days of Christmas. It's not November. Why why are we jumping on November? Who knows? I think people are just kind of very eager to, to get into Christmas. Uh I don't know if it's relative to previous years or anything like that, but... Uh, I guess Christmas is always a bit of a fun time. I don't know if people look into it on a consumerism kind of angle. You know, you got Black Black Friday coming up in the, the US and oddly Australia has Black Friday sales. Um, despite... <laughs> we don't have Black Friday. That's that's the Thanksgiving holiday. That's that's United States. It's very explicitly a national holiday over there. I'm not too sure what the correlation with the uh, Black Friday and uh, shopping deals are actually, but isn't that a bit weird? I don't know. There's fun fun things of uh, how I guess like holidays get used in the mainstream. I'm probably sounding very cynical, but you know what I mean. It's like. There's a lot of, like, interesting ways that, like, you'll see holidays kind of come up. I don't know. I'm sounding very cynical. We'll just leave it at that. Here's my spooky horror Halloween-style video game that I'm playing. It's 100% a, a capitalist 
uh, scheme to mark it off Halloween as a holiday and not as a movie franchise, which did indeed have a new movie this year. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of the Halloweens. Let's see, we're at the Kool-Aid bit down there. How many am I missing? 28 and a token. There's gotta be something miraculous. Uh, sign. Must be an extra room up there or something. That, that would probably explain it. I swear, that, that flute, they use it in Spyro 2 as well. They really enjoyed that flute sound effect. Alright, so yeah, I feel like I could just jump down here and then... I am not particularly in a better spot and I don't know if there's really... Like, you're gonna have to gauge this off the camera, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing on the top there. Although the ledge does seem to walk around, so maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's something up there, but I'll give it another go. There's the LED swapping, by the way, or at least your faded triangles of the... of the, the mountain appearing. So just to confirm, there's nothing around here, and then you can cross over. We're in the higher area of this building. You activate a switch, and then you've got this, like, wonderful walkway here. I don't think I can jump on the high ledge there. It's, it's just, I don't think it's quite there. Nah, it's not quite there. So then you've got these two ledges, and I've definitely explored both of them. And then you drop down, and you've got snake room, or whatever room on the other side is. Hmm. Alright, I don't know what's going on there, but sure. Let's double check the pool. Yeah, okay, that is 100% the pool. Got it. The pool is done. Uh, they didn't pull a sneaky boy and hide something behind. Waterfall. Nope. Nope. Not doing that this time. We, are, we already did that once. Didn't you enjoy it? No, level designers, I did not enjoy you putting a... Or a... non phaseable wall. Or an actual phaseable wall, I guess. Can't believe it, I feel so cheated. You know? Yeah. Uh, I remember the ending of Daikatana. It involved like... Like a, yeah, like a Chinese garden, or, or a Japanese garden, rather, on a, on a skyscraper. The Western interpretation of a, of a, uh, I don't know, something exotic. That's always something that, like, really, like, you know, always fancies me. Or I just, like, I, I love, like, I don't know, the, the exotic is always fun. Alright, there's gotta be something around here. We're near the end of the level. Has to be, right? You got the ghost there. You got that water bit. Bound to kill myself if I jump into the water. I've got two lives, I guess. Cause yeah, that's all the land bits over here. And then you've got this guy. And I, I've definitely explored this like water region a couple of times, which is to like really confirm. It's pretty much just that. Poor guy, I had to do this water effect though. Okay, another transparent wall with a texture that's moving. It still works. Any, like, transparent texture, like, you'd be surprised how kind of expensive that is to compute. Having this, like, transparent water. So maybe there's more over there, and I've just completely missed it? It really doesn't look like there's anything out there. At all. Really, nothing at all. If I'm crafty, maybe I can rock around to the start of the level? I don't really know.
And that's the end. That's the end. Uh... <laughs> Quick. Jason. Jason0905, you gotta help me. The Monstery Monastery. That's a level name and a half. Uh, we got Jason. There you are, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. This is gonna be a bit interesting. I'm trying to figure this one out live, isn't it? Can't believe it. I've had to look this stuff up twice. Or I'm just like, you know, crazy tired and I'm just like missing it. This feels like one where it's like, I oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm, I'm switching off active camera. This would never have happened with the passive camera. It's weird that you gotta like, pick the setting and then hit triangle. Sorry, I start. This would never happen. I'm like, oh, there's nothing out there. You've gotta be kidding. It was right in front of my eyes the whole time, and, bonus points, I had picked up everything that wasn't this. So I didn't even miss anything, like, leading up to this. I've been doing so well, and yet, and yet, the game taunts me one last time. Oh well. Well, Jason, you've double proved yourself. Good on you. So, with that, there are three more levels of the game. Two levels that I have to do things in, and a boss level. I am still... What is this, 580? So I'll be at, what, 7,500? 250. That's, wow, that's crazy. How, uh, how close they cut that. So you, you, you have to miss, at most, 200, or at, at, yeah. In order to beat the game, you have to have all but 250 treasure. That's a crazy high amount. I can't remember Spyro 1 requiring that much. I can't remember Spyro 2 requiring that much. Okay. I love, like, these, like, sound effects. These, like, royalty... They're not even royalty-free, I don't... Oh, maybe they are royalty-free. But you gotta buy them. So you get, like, a sound effect disc. And then, and then I guess, like, there's some companies who just, like, made a fortune off the disc. I assume, I think you fight these guys with a challenge later. I love how everyone with, like, an obviously, like, spiky or a rushing, like, weapon still loses to the spin. How does that happen? This is what I was thinking with the tunnels. Good thing there's two levels. Isn't this fitting? The last... The last Halloween levels are all... Snow levels. He's gotta teach you about goo on the second last level as well. Like, never mind that that was a thing very early on. Can I knock this game for being very for kids? Like... Kids are not this dumb. Kids understand, like, your game mechanics after a while. Like, and, and, and I'll say as like a, a very weird edge case, if I, not understanding English, can understand Pokemon, I'm pretty sure you don't need to over explain the goo. I die when I touch the goo, and I die when I touch these guys as well. That's okay, I've got money. I've got two money. How many coins in this level? Just to know. 37. Cool. Yeah, uh, so, uh, I guess for those curious, uh, after this week, I will be returning back to playing Pokemon Gold. So at the end of the, when I put it off, uh, which would have been, what, six weeks ago now? Seven weeks ago, actually, yeah, seven weeks. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I beat the, the Jodo portion of the game. So we've got the Kanto bit coming up. Uh, the Kanto bit, uh, as a mild spoiler, is not quite the full length of the game. It's probably going to be... Oh, I'm not even going to try and estimate. I was going to say six parts. I don't know. 
maybe grinding? I don't know if that's involved, but certainly uh, the the Jolo, sorry, the, the Kanto part of the game is actually quite like, you know, streamlined and actually speedy. And it's one, like, it's a real nice like bonus because the game itself is already an experience. I feel fine, like if the game ended right when I ended and maybe there's like one like little post-game dungeon, but no, it keeps going. And that's one thing I really like about uh, Pokemon Gold. It's just that it it is more than just one experience. I think you gotta move this onto each of the directions. So, uh, why don't I start with... I'll start with straightforward. Unless straightforward just continues the level. No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, yeah. I don't know if they close again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the level continues on in this way. You just got a karate chop. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding. I fell in the poop. They hit it around the corner. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure the level continues that way, so... Why not activate the other switches? What's with, like, the Ocarina of Time style, like, just giant ice cube? We got a snowman. He's gonna chuck us. He's gonna chuck us. There he goes. Alright, who made it so that the hearts, like, fly away from you as well? I want- I want names and numbers. Is this the main menu music again, by the way? Do- is that just the, the fallback? Like, if we don't have music, just... Eh, menu music. Easy. The kids will never know. Come on, guys. Come on. Alright, we got more of this pushing stuff. Let's clear out the, the room first. We've still got more poop. We've got this guy over here who's really eager to get in. So you can push the platform, and you can push the ice cube. I assume they want the platform moved to the end. I think that's what they're going for. Uh, I'm not too sure if that's activating a switch, or if that's just... Uh, where they want you to put it, basically. But sure, I'll participate in your fun game of pushing block. Pushing it a little too far. There we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and then the last one, so the block is over here. So how about let's pull this boy. There we go. Maybe it raises that little ledge in the center as well, just so you can't try and cheese it. Yeah, I guess this is like a surprising amount of this game that, that you just have to do. Oh, I love the platform. It's so good. Yeah, there's a surprising amount of this game you just have to do. But, oh well. Oh. Double oh. That's only 25% of the level. Can't believe it. Yeah, this is the, the part of the level I remember. I guess it was two levels. So now my brain's escaping me. What's the, the last part of the, the game? The very last level. Oh, no. Why are you doing this to me? Is that death? That is death down there. Hi there. How are you doing? Exactly, no platforms. In a pentagonal hallway. Ooh. With a hexagonal door at the end. Ooh. Why are there suicide bombers in my Muppets game? Hi there, how you doing? If you're stuck. Try finding hidden switches again. I'm not stuck. Thank you for not asking. 
Can't believe it. Oh well. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty chill. It's pretty chill. Um, the fact that it's November already actually kind of like blows my mind because this year has kind of gone by both slowly and quickly for me. I think there's been a lot of things that have happened, but there's also been like, you know, a lot of downtime. Like I feel like the things that did happen happened very quickly. And the things that, the times that didn't have anything happen, fell very far and long. Also, what a, what a meme. The bridge doesn't even go the whole way. But I got the U. It's okay. So, hi there. Like fish in a barrel. Hi there. You gonna tell, oh, gosh. Like fish in a barrel. All right. Okay. So, we're doing the, this thing again. Hey, look. I reused the minigame. And the music stopped. You see how just like sometimes it just doesn't hit? Because I assume there's a delay on the chicken firing and getting them. What does this have to do with Muppets anyways? The chicken maybe I can understand because like the Swedish chef has a chicken? I don't know what Robin's supposed to have though, but... Sure. See, good work, Robin. Do you earn this Muppet token again? There you go, I'm rich, I've got the token. They put the can in there. I assume just to kind of point that you're supposed to jump in this direction. Only to then get entirely memed upon. Can't be good. I'm a little bit terrified. Because I really don't want to push those boxes again. I'd rather just game over on the next level. How about that? Just abuse how the game over system works. That's cool. That's fine. I'm always really on the fence of like how games like this. So I assume you can you can do this, right? Yeah, okay. Alright. I'm always on the fence about like how lives and stuff should work in like... Uh, especially these like, longer single-player games, because it's like... What does that serve to do? It kind of just wastes my time. Why not start every level with the same number of lives? If I can just kill myself, and then start the level with the same number of lives, why do you have this life system? Or even better, just get rid of it. Just use the checkpoints. Easy. In fact, there's a lot of games, like, afterwards. Like, I'm thinking, like, Ratchet & Clank is, like, a, a perfect example. It gets rid of the life system. You've just got your health bar. If you lose, just try it again. Just keep trying it again. That's a that's a actually like you know some very forward thinking. Thank you, Insomniac, on that one. Yeah. Ugh. I'm not even halfway, and I've still got to do some platforming. This room looks familiar. Dude, imagine, like, actually not doing this puzzle. And then you come back to- Oh, you've got to be kidding. Ugh. Why? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the, the best part of the 2021, honestly, it's been actually like a real interesting year for, for media. I've, I don't know about the realm of like TV, but like music I've definitely felt like there's been quite a number of like stronger albums I've listened to this year. There's the Black Midi album, there's the Bruno Panadas album. I really enjoyed uh, listening to uh, Spelling's album. Uh, quite recently. Uh, I've listened to more classic stuff that I've never listened to before, and I've really enjoyed. Um, there's, like, yeah, that's a... Oh, like, it, it feels too far for a single jump. Like that, actually. That actually was the perfect example. Uh, it feels too far for a single jump, but too close to, like, 
I mean, yeah, it's too close to glide. Maybe I just gotta glide from further back. Get yourself... Okay, real talk. Whenever you do a, a game like this, always, always have, like, a protractor tool. And just go, the player is going to jump from the edge here to the, to the bit here. Or, like, you know, add a trajectory freaking, you know, like, this is how the jump arc works. Or this is where we expect the glide to probably sit. And just measure it. Because I feel like there's some of this where it's like they left it to playtesting to kind of determine whether the jump was a bit too brutal or not. I don't know. That's the that's one actual like real interesting thing about like game dev is like how many like weird tools and stuff. You see what I mean? It's like it's a this jump is certainly not. Oh my gosh, jeez. Those jumps just don't feel right. Well, I've got a checkpoint, which is great with my lack of lives. Oh! <laughs> yeah, so there's a second one of these kind of arena rooms. I was a little concerned it was going a bit too far. <laughs> Congratulations! You have collected enough evil energy to open the next level, okay? Yeah, I'll be back. That's a uh, Harrison Ford in the Kryptonite. Kryptonite? Carbon. Carbonite, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about... <laughs> that's, a, that's a wonderful cycle back to, to GTA earlier, isn't it? But it's like, yeah, I mean, like, lives are always a bit of a weird system because it's like, how many lives... Be careful, okay? Yeah, okay, I got it. Ice is so treacherous, this okay? ice? I think he means that ice. When you walk or run over ice. How come that seemed to hit really far away? Okay. Oh, man! He wasn't kidding about going too fast on ice. Like, jeez, that speed. And now I've got to do, like, this fun jump here. Gosh, so much... So much of the energy, and then I've got to do a whoop-bam! Gotta get that. Ah, uh, I, I, I'm just anticipating like falling into a pit and then just like you know slapping my head a little bit. <laughs> but oh, well. too much pessimism, not enough optimism. Get this optimism in there. Another checkpoint. Great. I do have an extra life. Never mind, actually. This snowman's gonna absolutely give me the hardest time in the world. There's a lot of things going on in this room, isn't there? We got this snowman, we got this icy lake. There's another just token up here. I'm at 99, boy! So I assume it ends at 108, because that's 7 in the next level. Ah, oh, excuse me, cheating. You can't swing that soon. You gotta let me walk up to you. I guess you use the spin to change your... change your traction. Alright, so Thor the guys. This master of ceremonies guy is not what I would call hot. Do you know what I'm talking about, okay? Ooh. He's a stiff, okay? Stiff, 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 stiff. Something's going on. I don't know what was going on there, but sure. I love how just like you walk past like so many of these and then that's, you know, it's like, okay, that's the challenge. Cool. Slap these statues. Well, I mean. <laughs> This is, okay, this is the weirdest part about the game. The fact that it's got these abilities, and it's got these, like, tokens to unlock the abilities, and all five abilities are in the first three levels of the game. That's the part that really weirds me, is that, like, it feels like they may have wanted to, like, add backtracking to the game. Like, you have to go through these levels, and then, you know, like, go back, because you're, uh, is there a guy, like, around here? Oh, I'll... I'll circle back on that one. Uh, yeah, it feels like they probably wanted to do what Spyro 2 did, where it's like you've got three abilities, uh, and each, uh, you know, like, 
they give you the swimming kind of early on and then kind of force you to well, i mean you have to get the abilities at some points but they make it required on um on a you know some levels later on but they also put the levels behind where you get them in the hub world so that makes sense um but it is kind of interesting of just like, hey, it's like, you know, some of the levels are designed around having, like, Colossus, for example. It's like they're designed around having the swim optional. Uh, this game, I don't know, maybe they, like, thought of it and then just kind of abandoned the idea, but still wanted to have the abilities. So they basically shoved all the abilities in, like, in the very beginning part of the level or of the game. That must have been how it worked out. Yeah, this game probably came in a bit of an interesting time around backtracking, because, like, some games did do it, and it makes sense why they do it, but it's also, like, some games just, you know, do it at a bad time. So, I'm missing two tokens. One's going to be in the bonus, and one is not in the bonus. She's been... There's a guy... I was expecting to kill the, uh, the snowman. But I think I've got enough of the energy, right? This looks like it's enough. That is definitely enough. Wait, no. Never mind. The snowman is bound to be a challenge, not a thingy. So where's, where's the killing of the snowman? 101... Oh, that was level. Okay, never mind. What do you do with the snowman? Who knows? I don't need to know. I'm done. See ya. And with that, there is one singular level where you do the things and then a boss level afterwards. And then that's it. That's the game. <laughs> I love how when you put this game into Twitch, it immediately uh, ticks it on platformer, horror, survival. Like, this is a survival tag, apparently. So, anyone looking for survival games, you're going to see this and you'll be like, eh. So, for Pedant's sake. Or there was something above that. Maybe there was an actual name of the level. Whoops. <laughs> I'll give this game points for the, the glowy tunnel. It gets it gets love in my eyes for that one. Uh, I do remember this level, yes. Because it's got the, the whole two, uh, two monster thing again. Is he gonna tell me? What no, he's gonna. He's gonna tell me about the goo. So yeah, I, I remember this level having a fair bit of meandering around. I like how I haven't. No, I have died since I've got the thing. Um, how many? How many thingies does it have? Six hundred. Yep. Okay, six hundred and seven. Seven tokens. So what does that put my? Evil energy count at? 8,100? That's a fun number. I mean, at least it's 100, but... <laughs> Still, very interesting. I uh, got the bonus thing there. Yeah, I, I don't really know how to, like, really classify this game. Or, or like, rank it in terms of, like, things I've played. They just die, I guess. Cool. Be careful, okay? This ice is so Look at that! They added in the sliding as part of the game. Oh yeah, I yeah I remember not having a fun time on this actually. Never mind. I have to do some laps. I tell ya. This reminds me a lot of a Spyro three level. There you go, speedrunning strat right there. Take all the hits. I swear we've had this music a bunch as well. Ah, oh, if only they had more original music for the levels. Kaboom! Why... Why blow that up just to have another switch? Who knows? 
Oh, to highlight that there's going to be, you know, room down there. And just to really double make point of it. I see the, the killer, you know, kamikaze penguins down there as well, so... Or they can, I can just go right past them and they, they can't. Okay. I can't spin him. He doesn't really hit me back, but sure. Look at that, they put all the, the extra health in here. Ah, I need the extra health. Oh no. Well, there's my bow. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's a goner. Well, rip all those bonus lives. Bonus hearts. They're, they're all gone. I hate the bonus heart system. That that just feels so punishing. Where it's like, if you don't die, then you will continue to not die. And if you do die, then you will be put into a state where you will probably continue to die. The worst part is that, yeah, it's only led to, like, game overs because I lose lives. And then I just continue playing and I've never gotten, like, really stuck. It's just... It's weird as well, because, like, you've got all your challenges. Like, you you know, you gotta talk to... To... Your pal. Uh... Do I drop down to the ledge? Yeah, I drop down to the ledge. Ooh, pro dodge. More lives. Could I have always gone up this ledge? I guess I could have. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I don't know. Game's alright. So what kinds of exciting games are gonna come out? I think I've mentioned Forza Horizon 5. I'll be playing too much of it. What other games am I excited about coming out later? Uh... Really, I, I do want to play Metro Dread uh, at the end of the year. Don't own it quite yet, but I do want to get around to it. Uh, and tell Nintendo that yes, I, I, I'm willing to pay money for a Metroid game. Uh, that sounds like a, a very fanboy stance, but you know what I mean. Oh, like there's the blue one over there. Okay, I'm just going to do some laps, so I'm going to get those. That's going to take another two goes, isn't it? Ugh. Ah... Uh, what else, what else, what else? I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'll probably incidentally pick up a game when it's cheap, and then I'll just like play it, and I'll be like, oh cool. Uh, and then meanwhile, I'll be playing through my old library of games. I'm playing through Alien Isolation. It's like, yeah, okay, like that's a game that like people will definitely know about. If you've played it, yeah, cool. Like, <laughs> that's, that's maybe a downside of playing games late, but eh, that's all fine. Alright, so now we just hang left, should get that blue, and away I go. Bob is my uncle. There we go, all good. Bump all the walls. That's some... That is some wacky level design, but sure, I'll accept it. You know one thing I realized that, like, Spyro does really well? It's got so much, like playing into mobility in that game. Not just like the fact that you've got the charge as like an actual ability. Uh, meanwhile, this game, it's like, you know, the spin and the the beam, the power glove, they're both, you know, you can use them standing still. The charge is only there because I feel like they wanted you to be able to move a little quicker. But because the, I don't know, actually, it feels a bit odd. Um, Anyway, let's run over in this direction. There's a big guy, and now he's not a big guy. These are some Gruntilda looking dudes, tell ya. Uh... Oh, this is gonna be fun. We're going left path. Left path is the best path. Uh... But yeah, like... You know, what else have you got? Like, what what do they play upon with the mechanics? Well, in the, uh, in the first world, you don't really experience anything too much, actually. 
But in the second world, it's like, oh, you've got, um, uh, like, levels like High Peaks. Not High Peaks, um, Cliff Town, Cliff Town, sorry. I know, I know this game's got this. Twice. Does it count? Maybe. It, maybe. It's got the gliding, I'll, I'll give this game that. But, like, it doesn't have the flying parts from, from Spyro 1. It doesn't have, like, particularly high levels where you're doing these long glides. It, it maybe hinted at it in, like, places, but it didn't quite get to it. Um, it doesn't have, uh, the supercharge. See, good work, uh, and, and, you know, just like, you know, really, like, fast sections like that. Uh, and that's one thing where I feel like Spyro really takes the cake. It's like, it's not just that it's like, it's a collectathon platformer, but it's also like it's a collectathon platformer with a lot of like, you know, a lot of like fun mobility uh, kind of styles in it. Uh, even like the sequels will introduce things like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of skateboarding in Year of the Dragon. Um, you know what I mean? Where it's just like, uh, just like really toying around with a lot of, a lot of ideas and a lot of things on changing the fundamentals of gameplay um i guess it's a it's a tall order to expect that out of the muppet game and i guess that's the thing is that ultimately here i am at the very end of the the whole let's play stream stuff saying how much i would rather be playing spyro uh but not not like i don't enjoy playing this game but i think it's like yeah you can you can tell where i nearly did the same thing twice the same thing from the last level uh, but you can tell like where like it really you know kind of should feel like spyro and it doesn't um ultimately it's a game i guess we would judge on its own merits and i'd just say yeah the controls are a bit stiff that's about it really and the music could do a bit of work like the music's fine for what it is it's just i guess hearing it over and over again like, between the levels. And also the fact that the loops are a little on the shorter side as well. For what the levels are. I love how I'm at the start of the level again, so, okay. And down I go. So, uh, again, uh, total... This is a bit mean, isn't it? Whatever's going on over here, jeez. I think I remember taking a couple of attempts on this one because I kept like falling off or missing a, a line. Oh, like that. That's okay. I'm like way ahead of him somehow. I don't know how that happened. Is the camera zoomed further back than it typically is? Okay. Sure. I guess I've absolutely whooped this penguin. So, yeah, remember, uh, 150. Eight tokens I've got to get, and 8,100 evil energy. So, about 200 more evil energy and three more tokens. And that's it, that's, that's a defeat a boss. I forgot, I, I don't even know if there's like any difference in getting 100% uh, in this game or not. Does it do anything? I don't know. I guess that's a that's an interesting thing as well, like just as a last one. What do games do to reward you for 100 percenting Or do they even consider 100 percent a thing? Uh is it necessary? Do you have to 100 percent games? Uh I can guarantee that some games don't 100 percent them. Me and my sadistic self trying to 100 percent just cause two. Or at least 99.95% because they missed out on about 12 of the collectibles. Or seven. Seven, I think. It's just like there's, there's counters, the percentage is trying to reach that certain amount, and there just isn't that many items on the map. So, either you can you can add a mod that just re-adds in a couple of things and some lingering spots. But you know what I mean. Uh, meanwhile, like, I guess you'll play a, a game like a... Also, well, it is the last level. I guess we're supposed to have... This is a very Mario 64 kind of platform isn't it um the u 
Uh, but I guess, like, you know, the Spyro games don't shy away from this of not being 100%. It's like 120%. Yay. Or 100... Uh, was one of them 140%? One of them was 108. Spyro 3 was like a very bizarre number. Uh, that's just the start of the level. That's all fine. I'm hoping that I open a way back into the start of the level. But I, I, I see that this is probably going to rock up at the top with that switch. Why are the switches, by the way, bats with targets? It, it feels like a very arbitrary reason why the door opens, you know? Because I hit the target... Okay, sure. Well, I've got 107, and... Is there another one of the things at the back? The best part is they know all of this treasure means nothing. It literally means nothing. Well, that's 100, so... Cool. Uh, so yeah, I, in my personal time, I guess I'll get the... Coins? I'm not even going to show it, so you're not even going to know that I'm doing it, but uh, I don't know. The Retro Achievement set has get all the coins, so might as well. The only other thing that I'm really missing out on, and I'll try it again, is just beat the bosses without taking a hit. One at a time. So, uh, I, oh, I forgot if the game actually exits after this as well. Never trust it. Never trust. Never trust the game. So, that is actually, is that actually 100%? That is 100%, apparently, so... Yeah, all that's left is beating the mystery of the master. And I guess, yeah, like, you have to remember, yeah, there's, there was a villain in this game. I guess Spyro 1 didn't really remind you of the villain. Oh, he did, kind of. They mentioned him in passing and then he ended up being a bit of a joke, but, like, that's the whole point. Be careful, okay? Sure. Your defeat will be music to my ears. Also, it's just... The Phantom of the Opera, I guess. Uh, how do you beat this guy? Dodge attacks, I guess. And then they'll probably open himself up. I remember him having a real long cycle. And it's a little bit mean, but sure. I guess you stand there and let him break these. Bonk. Well, that's one hit. Cool. Now we rinse and repeat. He's gonna spit more fireballs at me. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. Now he's gonna come on over and he's gonna spit a bunch kind of at me. Ah, oh, there he goes. He actually did get me. Well, ripped that plan, but that's okay. He's just going to spit these fireballs a little more frequently, is that it? But he's still going to let me run around and break all of them in one cycle. There he goes, he hits the ceiling again. Now he's angry! Don't, is he going to do the same three attacks? Spits the fireballs. Spits the fireballs. Keep doing it, then it's going to come over towards me. Going to kind of fire them in a bit of a weird way. I'm just going to keep running, I'm just going to keep running, now he's going to sit here, and he's going to maybe throw them a little more faster than last time. That, oh. I get comboed so hard apparently. That was it. So, you have taken me to the coda at last. That was it. Well, that seemed a bit easy, wasn't it? Oh, where am I? I last remember working on a machine that was supposed to make things good. And then... I don't know. Perhaps I turned the dial in the wrong direction. Well, whatever the case, I believe we all owe you a great debt of gratitude. That was it. Yeah, I, I feel like the payoff is not particularly worth it, but I don't know, maybe you guys enjoyed it. You're gonna hate this ending as well. I remember just like slapping my face on this one. Robin, can you hear me? Robin? You, you guys aren't monsters. Monsters? Oh, what happened? 
It seems my uncle's servant, Chives, gave you a bit of a fright. Dreadfully sorry, sir. That's when you fainted. I had the strange. Just remind him that. There was this evil guy, and he had turned you all into monsters. A monster? But Dr. Honeydew, Beaker, Pepe, and I escaped to a secret lab. That's where Dr. Honeydew made me a power glove to change you all back to normal. I went around and fought monsters. I even turned into them, too. And I saved the whole village. What an imaginative dream. This sounds like a good idea for a video game again. Nice. Cool. It's true. This way, everyone. Who's that? That's my master, Baron Petri von Honeydew. My dear departed uncle, and a renowned scientist and inventor in his own right. How weird! He was in my dream, too. You must have seen the painting before you fainted. Nice. Yes. This way to your room. And uh So uh I don't know, the game's kinda on the fence of was it a dream or not? Who knows? That's the game, sure. I I've said my piece on it already, so I guess it was that. You've got your cast of characters that you may have only seen for like a moment. Hopefully you remember the names. You probably know who they are, but they got legs! Are they really Muppets if they've got legs? I guess they all technically have legs. You know what I mean. Come at walking, it's just, oh. Oh. So yeah, I, yeah, I don't particularly know uh, how exactly this game even came to be or uh, all the all the reasons why it ended up in the way it is, but hey, it's a game, it's a Spyro clone, and uh, I think we can appreciate it for being a Spyro clone uh, regardless of the, the um, you know, subject matter in it, but yeah, I don't know. I guess this is the interesting one. This was not a game that I played as a kid. I just played it at some point. Man, he's small. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, I just played this at some point. I thought it would be an interesting play. I feel like it was alright. Who knows? Uh, but I think, yeah, probably some people out there will feel a lot of nostalgia and a lot of, like, ooh, cool, this is a... This is a, a game that exists. Who knows? Maybe you'll play it at some point. You'll find it. Who knows? Uh... There you go. I did it. So what do I get with my save game? Who knows? I'm just gonna put it in a second slot, even better. Look at that, the save game was on fire. So there's some credits. You don't deserve credits this time. <laughs> you don't even know who beat the game. Who knows? Uh, I guess it l almost looks exactly the same as a save file. Uh, and then I'll go in and it'll... will it look the same? Okay, it's told me at least I've been this guy, so... Yeah, pretty much the only thing left is coins for the gallery. Pretty much. How many coins did I get? I don't know, but... Eh. That'll be for me personally to play it. And for you to go, ah yes. There's a gallery, sure. Anyways, with that, I would like to thank you all for watching so much. Uh, if you've been sticking through on all three streams, then good on you for having the patience to watch seven hours of this. But if you haven't watched all three streams, I would recommend uh, go back to the VODs and uh, just, you know, you can watch them back if I say hi. Um, or not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyways, for people who are new or rec recurring, I will be playing Pokemon Gold uh, continuing next week. I stream every single week on Mondays at 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is 10.30 a.m. UTC. So there's that. All of these go to YouTube at some point, so you can subscribe on YouTube as well. And if you are, if your name ends in Gary, have a happy birthday. One person out there is going to be 
very weirded out on that one. Um, but that's okay. Uh, anyways, with that, have a great week, everyone. Eat your greens. Don't stay up too late. Uh, and remember to look both ways before crossing the street. <laughs>